Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles to Daily Lessons, and today we're on Lesson 337. My sinlessness protects me from all harm. My sinlessness ensures me perfect peace, eternal safety, everlasting love, freedom forever from all thought of loss, complete deliverance from suffering, and only happiness can be my state, for only happiness is given me. What must I do to know all this is mine? I must accept atonement for myself and nothing more. God has already done all things that need be done, and I must learn I need do nothing for, of myself, for I need but accept myself, my sinlessness created for me, now already mine, to feel God's love protecting me from harm, to understand my father loves his son, to know I am the son my father loves. You who created me in sinlessness are not mistaken about what I am. I was mistaken when I thought I sinned, but I accept atonement for myself. Father, my dream is ended now. Amen. I'll read it again. My sinlessness protects me from all harm. My sinlessness ensures me perfect peace, eternal safety, everlasting love, freedom forever from all thought of loss, complete deliverance from suffering, and only happiness can be my state, for only happiness is given me. What must I know all this is, what must I do to know all this is mine? I must accept atonement for myself and nothing more. God has already done all things that need to be done. And I must learn I need do nothing of myself, for I need but accept myself, my sinlessness created for me, now already mine, to feel God's love protecting me from harm, to understand my father loves his son, to know I am the son my father loves. You who created me in sinlessness are not mistaken about what I am. I was mistaken when I thought I sinned, but I accept atonement for myself. Father, my dream is ended now. Amen. This is a beautiful lesson. Let's speak for a moment about the word atonement, because it may not be clear. Atonement, when it says I must accept atonement for myself, atonement means at one, at one meant. So what we must accept is that we are one with God and with all others. And once you know that, you understand that you are both sinless and totally protected because you are at one with divinity, with God. We are each individuated aspects of divinity. And so once you accept that, once you atone at one, become one, everything else will fall into place. And the dream that you are separate and that you are not protected, that you need to be fearful, all of that dream goes away. So I hope you have a great day with this lesson today. If you need additional support, feel free to reach out to me, 907-351-3003. Message me on Facebook or YouTube or SoundCloud or through my websites, lindalamp.com lindalamp.shop. Until tomorrow, namaste and much love.